So back to the regularly scheduled program. Let me put up these sleeves, girl, because we about to get to work, son. We about to do work, son. <laughs> What's up, good people, AKA winners. That's what we do, Hey, That's all we do, Hey, hey, hey. I'm coming to you with another video, Hey, Coming to you with another video. Ficky, Ficky. I'm Siki, how you doing? How your mama doing? <laughs> Actually, before we get started, let me just say, if you are not a part of this winning fam bam up over and through here, I'm gonna need y'all to join the family, okay? Cause I don't want anyone, no winners left behind, okay? So join the family, make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss a beat and please do share because like, don't keep it to yourself, girl. Sharing is caring. This is the Wet n Wild Rebel Rose Limited Edition Collection. Plug hell. I was thinking, first of all, rebel, I'm not a rebel. Like what's up with that? But then I read about the collection a little bit more and it was talking about how they're going against the grain or going against the norm by introducing a skincare for the first time or a skincare line for the first time. And then they were also talking about, um, just, you know, going outside the norm, doing things different, you know? And so I'm, I'm, I'm here for that. I'm feeling that. Oh, praise report, praise report. I am filming with a new mic. So our sound should be so much better than it has been for the last I don't know maybe a month or so I don't even know don't no, don't ask any questions and I'll tell you no lies for the first time in wet and wild history we are introducing skincare a new territory we can't wait to explore as always we aim to give our community the best products at the most affordable prices our spring limited edition rubber rose is no different did you like that okay so in here up and through here girl let me just show you like this first so bam, we want that glare off, right? I hope you guys can see that. That is really pretty packaging. And so um, then it says that this is a lip, is it a lip balm or lip exfoliant? It is a, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, okay? Um, I just like, listen, I promise to protect and serve, to protect your coins and to serve you and give you the goods, okay? <laughs> so this is the lip scrub and I'm gonna try it. I don't really exfoliate my lips that much. I just use my good old Aquaphor and then life is great. Oh, okay. There is a Photo Focus Rose Primer Serum. I'm not really into rose. Let's just, let's just, I, I don't really like the smell of rose. Looks like there's actually rose petals in there. Do y'all see that floating around, girl? So this is um, rose multi-use oil. Definitely not doing the oil. And I'm not really, like this is a toner, but I won't be using a toner because if you guys don't know, I already have a skincare regimen that I've been using for over seven, well about, yeah, a little over seven years. I released a book called Crystal Clear because my name is Crystal, for those of y'all that don't know. And it is on Amazon and the link is always in the description box. So with that being said, I don't try a whole bunch of different things on my skin. These are the palettes we're gonna delve into. Um, I'm not really sure what that is right there. We'll get into it. But look at that big old brush. Oh my God, I'm gonna show you that. Mm -hmm, I am. And I'm just excited. And there's lippies in here too. And guess what? There's a purple one, go figure. Purple, purple, let's go. Oh, oh, it's kind of thick. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a jelly balm for your lips. I'm assuming. Okay, the smell's not overpowering. It doesn't even smell like rose. Ooh, that feels good. <gasps> Has a little tint to it, right? Now these foundations did not come with this collection, but since they sent it to me, and I did do a video, y'all, I did do a wear test and a first impression. But because we're doing a wet and wild video, I'm just gonna go ahead on with the stick foundation. This is the House of Thorns palette. Look at that green. And you know, wet and wild, I got it on my nail. Wet and wild is pretty pigmented. That almost looks like a black green, y'all. And that's that bronzy color. They seem to swatch a little bit. Well, that's black. I'm not gonna swatch that. This burgundy, I just really wanna dig into that so bad. Oh my God, it's almost like red. And then this one is the Bed of Roses. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna play with this purple right here because why not? But yeah, I'm gonna do a smoky eye. We're gonna do a purple smoky eye. Look at, I'm in, mm -hmm, I'm in it. I may put this in the inner corner. I don't, <gasps> Oh, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. And then this color, ooh. Y'all know Wet n Wild knows how to do the doggone thing. Ooh, that's pretty too. Now this is called Secret, Secret Garden Rendezvous. And I'll probably use this purple in there too. Bars. I don't know where I'm gonna swatch y'all. 
There we go. There we go. Oh, pretty. There we go. Where else to swatch? And we're gonna do right here. There are transition shades that I can use. I can't talk on today, but I would rather start off soft. I told you guys, I need to start off soft and build up. I wish they would have just made this one big palette and that would have been bomb, but they're cute nonetheless. I think that the safest way to go is to go into my Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear which is right here because it doesn't have a lot of burgundy. It is just, you know, a nice little cocoa brown. So I always take that and I go into the crease and I just kind of prep my eye with that. We are gonna do a smoky eye for the simple fact that I, I just, I, I'm really feeling that. Like, I'm gonna mess with that purple. Let's go into this purple right here from The Secret Garden. I'm hoping that it's really purple. Uh-oh. Do I need to use a different brush? Okay, yeah, that's better. There we go. Sometimes you need a brush where the bristles are going to pick it up and deposit it. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, if you will. I thought it was just straight up matte. I'm gonna have to clean up on aisle seven. Y'all know I'm not the neatest um, applier or yeah, eyeshadow application placer. <laughs> So now that we have that, I'm going to go into this bed of roses palette with that purple right there. And I'm going to just put that in the crease, like right in here to deepen it up. Oh, I should have put that, man. I should have put that on the lid. You guys see how that's a little bit more matte and a little bit more pigmented. Well, dang. So this one is definitely, I guess more for the lid and smoky eye. I'm going to take that other brush, which I guess it's, it's the Morphe M506. I don't even pay attention to the brushes. I just grab them and go for what I know. So I'm going to take this one, the one from the Secret Garden Rendezvous, that purple right there. And I'm going to go like right through here and kind of blend it out. Yeah, this one's a little bit lighter. And then I'm going to go back into that Cocoa Bear too and just kind of start blending it all together. The transition shades vary, but this is the same concept. Woo, that went high. So I'm gonna show you a trick about that too. When you take that joke up too high like I just did, then when I go in with my brow bone, this is where we fix that. Going in with the Morphe 35O Universal Shade that I use in every video. And I'm just gonna take it down further so that I can kind of erase all that color that I put up there so it doesn't look like I got hit in the eye, you know? Yeah, it looks really crazy. Now, this is the thing. A lot of times I see people walking around just like this because they just put their shadow on and they leave it like that, like no blending in sight. That is where the problem is. You have to, after you put that last shadow on, go back in there, girl, and blend them together, girl. So I'm going to take that shadow that I used on the smoky eye part and I'm going to use a flat brush like this. I know Mac has some, but this is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe number 42. And I'm just gonna go into that purple and I'm just gonna deepen it down here. And I'm thinking I'm gonna go in with this little pink color inside that inner corner. We're gonna see guys. I may not, I don't know how I feel about it, but let's see. Oh, she works. Okay, we'll do her. Here is the final eye look. I had to put in a little bit of work, okay? I had to go to work on Myra's feet. And then I'm gonna have to do my picture at the end. You know how I take a picture of my eyes to see if everything is even, especially after putting those lashes on, girl. I definitely would recommend using a base before you do the eyeshadows. And this like shimmery color, it definitely gives you a lot of fallout. I really had to clean up on aisle seven. But what I'm gonna do is put some more balm on. This is like my third time. Um, my lips are soaking this stuff up. It's not lasting. So maybe because I'm just used to Aquaphor. You know, I just remembered that Wet n Wild sent something else, this three-in-one primer water, the cucumber one. And I used this in the video with the foundation and I'm in love with it. So that's what I'm gonna use. Oh my goodness. Oh, please, please come through here. I don't like to spray it on my face though because I don't wanna get it all over my makeup. I am going to simply correct with this Urban Decay corrector and with the Makeup Forever corrector because these are what I use really kinda of like on, I don't wanna say a daily basis, but whenever I do my makeup, this is what I use. Oh my gosh, it's a rose brush. Come through. Okay, so what I'm about to do, this is a little trick that I do. 
bars everywhere. But if I am, if I want to go straight into using a brush, you can take some alcohol spray, which actually disinfects. And it just kind of does a little bit of spot cleaning, if you will. But I'm just doing this to make sure that I just get anything off of there that shouldn't be there before I touch my face with it. Okay. So I'm just going to wipe this brush off and alcohol evaporates super duper quickly. It dries super duper quickly. Right. So like totally right after that, we're good to go in. So now I'm going to go into this foundation. This is the shade Almond. Almond Amande, girl. And it is a stick foundation. This is the foundation that I use in the video. And I think that I'm going to blend it with that foundation brush and then go into it with the beauty blender. This, this is this is really awkward with the stem on it. Because I don't have any concealer from Wet n Wild, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution 12 and a half. And we're just going to do a little bit of highlighting and we're going to blend that out. We're going to set that with the Black Radiance Powder. And then I don't have any powder from Wet n Wild either. Now this is a cream blush and the color is Rose in Peace. And although it's black, when you apply it to your skin, it turns like a rosy color. Now here's the thing. I don't really care for cream blushes that much, especially after I apply my powder and everything. I would rather do that before I do the powder and then lightly dust over it. But since I did not do that to prepare, I'm just going to go into my MAC Fever blush. And this is a great blush for like women of color that I use around the fall time. That's just all the way great. Like it's bomb. You see that? Like, and it just gives me a flush of color. It doesn't do too much. However, if you want to go harder, you can. Dang, I like how I have a glow and I haven't even done a highlighter yet. I'm here for it. Awesome Blossom. Awesome Blossom. And you know, I'm here for that name. And it is just a pretty highlight. Like, check it. You can build that joker, especially on my skin tone. I'm using the Becca highlighter brush. Um, they just gave it to us at an event when we, when they gave us this highlighter, not this highlighter. <laughs> this is the Becca highlighter brush that I obtained from a Becca event when they launched their chocolate geode. So let's get into the lippies and then I am going to do something with myself up and through here and I'll show you the final look. So this one is called, oh snap. I thought they were matte. I thought they were matte, girl. This must be their, they, actually they must have a matte and a gloss, but this one is called Petal Poison. And that looks like the gloss that me and Minnie Me did lip swatches on. They're high shine. That's what I'm thinking. And then this one is um, Deviant Damsel. And that, no, that looks like the high shine too. I think I'm gonna go for that. I don't know y'all. It's between this one and the other one. I'm gonna show you. Definitely not this one. Although this reminds me of Morphe Nibble. This is called Kiss of Death. Yo, whoa, no. Come on now, Cletus. And this one is called Bud Romance. This is the one, I, I may mix them. I don't know. This is the one I was thinking of going into today and just have on like different shades of purple. This is what I worked out. Now it was a little bit trying to do the lippy because I think that this one is matte. That's definitely the feel that I get, but I think this one is the shine one. Yeah. High shine. So I mixed two different formulas, right? So the matte and then the high shine, but it's kind of cool because it gives it a little shine in the middle, but I had to put a little bit more on it so that it wouldn't fade. Whereas the matte was super opaque girl. I am totally feeling this look all the way. A. Hey, it's like, it's like 50 shades of purple, baby. A. Hey, it's like 50 shades of purple, baby. A. Hey. Check this out. If you go to my Instagram, my CK underscore beauty Instagram on that page, I have makeup PR in the highlights. Okay. Go into the highlights and of course, the most recent ones, like towards the end, let me know if there's something there that you want to see. Cause usually I do unboxings and I ask like, what do you guys want to see? All right. So that will give me more of an idea of what to bring to you guys next. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And you guys have an awesome blessed day. Do not forget to join the fam bam to like share because well, like and share. Okay. Because you care <laughs> and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.